Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Jasmine the Buffet Witch. But you already knew that because you're, you got a keen eye and you know a master disguise when you see one. Welcome to my channel and say hello to my new Weaveroni, okay? So I did a little quick weavery today because I have wanted to do a quick weave series for a very long time. Now, little story or little background about me. I do have traction alopecia, so I don't really have edges, which for me is really not a problem. Uh, in a past life, I was a bad head, uh, I always say this wrong, a bald head baddie, okay? And because of that, I just don't care about hair. And I actually really enjoy not having good hair because it means that I don't have to like, <laughs> I don't have to maintain it. So basically, I'm as, I'm as lazy, okay? But it works in my favor, okay? Because I'm also a Barbie doll. I want different hair every day if I could. If I had the time to, I literally would. And we're about to have a lot of different hairs. Now, I don't do my hair to make it look real, okay? We're not trying to give you realism here. I'm just having fun. And I wanted to see myself in different hair because I looked at my Instagram from its conception. I used to do my hair all different kinds of ways. Not so much like colors and whatnot, and even like textures, whether it be wavy or straight, but just like the wrapping method I used to do it in all the different ways and I don't know I think once I started using this kinky hair I kind of stuck to the same just all back with my head my head wrap because I like to have hair but I prefer it off of my face because the makeup is what we're here for okay but I decided you know what I still want to try to do this series my goal is to get just a few a few different looks to kind of mimic those old hair magazines. I used to love going to Barnes and Nobles with either my best friend Kara or my sister or my mom and my sister, but mostly it was either with Kara or my sister Salt. Um, and we would get our Starbucks, which we don't drink anymore. Um, and we would get a bunch of magazines and we would look at them and we'd get like the, the hip hop magazines, the hair magazines and just any kind of magazines. And we would sit and talk and read them and things like that and then put them back and go about our day. But I loved the hair magazines with all of the styles for black women. I loved it so much. I went back to Barnes and Nobles not too long ago and they no longer have those because we don't use magazines anymore really. But I wish I would have had, I wish I would have kept a few because I love them so much. So that's what I'm trying to recreate. Just those, because not only was the hair beautiful, but the makeup was gorgeous. I remember looking at them and being like, I wish I could be a hair model because the makeup was so gorgeous, the cute little outfits, the women were always so beautiful. I loved it. So that's what I'm trying to recreate. Doing different looks and making my own hair magazine, my own hair diary and things like that. Just these styles that remind me of a time where I used to go out with my sister and my friend and just enjoy, you know, magazines and girl time. So that's what we're doing. And this is the first look. I have an actual blonde, blonde one because I'm still trying to have my Storm X-Men um, Nisi from BAPS. What's her name, Nisi? Yeah, I think Halle Berry's character was Nisi. I'm still trying to have that BAPS era, but that's going to take a little bit of work, a little bit of time. But she coming, she coming, okay? But anyways, that's what we got here today. A little blonde moment, you know, a little short do. I don't typically like short hair because I just feel like I don't know what to do with it. So I just kind of put her up, get her out of my face, girl. Because like I said, just I don't be in my face, okay? Get off my face is how I feel. But I like her. I think she's cute. She's good for the moment. And I was like, oh, I can wear my, my, my little hats and things like that. But that's what we're doing with the hair. So you're going to be seeing me in a few different colors, a few different textures, a few different lengths here, there, and everywhere. And know that every single one is fake. Mm -hmm, it is. And I don't care. I'm not here to make it look real. And like I said, oh, I didn't say this, but I had said it in a different video that I did not post. But I'll say it here. I am, don't ask me no questions about how to do any of the things with the hair, honey. I am not where you come for the hair things. I do my hair the way I likes it for me. Again, I ain't trying to make it look real for nobody. Uh, it's just fun. I'm just a Barbie doll. And you know what happens to Barbie dolls, right? Did it happen to you, Barbie dolls? You chop all the hair off. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Chop all her hair off. She's having a rough day, okay? You draw some makeup on her because she's... Yeah, we all end up looking like weird Barbie at the end of it. So, uh, that's where we are and that's what we're doing. So, this is the hair and like I said, this, I'll take it down. She's full. I typically do quite full hair. I like to have it full. 
but yeah, she's given she's given some body, 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 body. Yeah, giving some body teas. Ooh, <laughs> you ever look at yourself in the mirror and just be like, oh my god, I look good. If you haven't, you should, cause you do. Okay. So yeah, that's that's what we've got going here. A little bit of a little bit of a moment. Mm, yeah. Gorgeous. But that's not what this video is about. This video is for my mom. Hi Mima. I am going to be doing some lip swatches. So let's get started. So I'm starting off with my signature lip, which is going to be a deep black brown pencil. Okay. And then my holy grail lipstick, which is, oh my God, I love this lipstick so much. Minted Peach Please. She's gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, I love not only the look of this lipstick, but the freaking feel is phenomenal. That should be their slogan. The freaking feel is phenomenal. But yes, Minted Peach Please. This is definitely a staple. And I'm really hoping that it is still available at Ulta. Even if it's not, we will go to the Minted cosmetics website and get it there because i oh my god yes that's what i'm gonna do when i need another one i'm gonna go to the website because i need some of their reds okay but today we're gonna do some lip swatches now i have to be honest with you i did break my no buy today because i'm an adult and i can do that i can do that if i want to and my no buy wasn't strict they never are i just you know there really wasn't anything that i was wanting so i said to myself self if there's something you really really want get it you deserve it treat yourself and that's what I did so let's do some swatches first I'm gonna do some swatches of um, uh, I'm gonna do actually let's do this I'm gonna do some more signature lips let's do I've got my signature nude let's do a signature red lip and honestly this would be a learning curve for or a learning experience for all of us because I don't know that I actually have a signature red I don't have like a signature red lip liner uh, I kind of do when it comes to like a ombre red lip. Uh, but not so much just like a red lip. Now I'm cheating here. I'm trying to exfoliate any cornflakes. Cause some colors be snitches, you know? Oops, get information, girl. Where is you supposed to be? Be there. There you go, yes, okay. Mm. We gotta figure out a name for her. My long weave, that's Veronica, okay? Cause she's sassy. What's her name? I look like my name is Savannah. Yeah. Okay, we'll call her Savannah. Cause you know all the different hairs had names. Why is that? Oh, probably because you put the hair on and you look like your name is something, right? Right? You know? You know. Anyways, so signature red. Let's see. Let me just do all the ASMR right now, okay? So one of my favorite reds, the lip bar. Oh, but we also have the red from uh, the Sephora brand. Now, when it comes to a red, I don't actually know that I need a red lip liner. So we're gonna forgo one. We're gonna skip that. I just put on a squinch of lippity bone. Let's go ahead and just pop on this red, okay? Now red can be a bit mean to your teeth, all right? And I know you've probably noticed, I do have some staining on my teeth and I got some cavities and I gotta go to the dentist and it's in the works. I'm not gonna let that stop me from smiling. I'm not gonna let it stop me from doing my videos. Um, I'm just gonna make a dentist appointment and keep it pushing. Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh. It's been such a long time since I've worn red. Oh, red lipstick. Oh. Savannah, you look good. A 
Lovely. Ooh. Beautiful. I like it. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. All right. Just a little bit of a pause because I am going to take pictures of every lip color we put on. So I will see you with clean lips for the next color. But yeah, this is what I would do for a red. Should we gloss it? I think we should gloss it. No, we'll keep her matte. We'll keep her matte. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. I'll be right back. All right, so we're back. I thought we would do a pink lip next, so we're gonna go ahead and use my Juvia's Place Scorpio Lip Liner and then this uh, shade 13 from Sephora. So the Juvia's Place Lip Liner is a little bit, think uh, like, mm, slightly like Night Moth, not as dark. Um, Not as dark as Night Moth, but pretty close. Go. I like that liner, nice and moisturizing. And then the shade 13. These are very smooth and they move quite far. So you don't need a ton of it. Very comfortable formula. I hope you can't hear me going. <laughs> as I do it louder but um very smooth formula and it's very comfortable so now I'm just gonna go back in with the lip liner and just kind of mix and feather those together now this is a combo where I would definitely use a, a, a gloss to uh, marry these. But I just wanna make sure I get the colors nice and blended first. And I will say, the Sephora lip stain formula is one that even when it dries, it's still kind of easy to manipulate. Like it's drying up, but it's not like grabbing and like skipping and whatnot. So I feel really comfortable just putting a gloss over this, okay? So I'm gonna use my uh, Revolution Shimmer Balm in Glimmer. This is the pink tinged one, perfect for my mauvey pink lips. And also very comfortable. Like I said, they don't say it, but I think these are like a dupe or yeah, they're comparable to the um, Fenty, what are those called? Gloss bombs? Yeah, right? The Fenty Gloss Bomb. That sounds right. Yeah. They're very similar. Because I did have all of the Fenty Glosses and I just, ugh, I just didn't like them. And I don't know why, because they're awesome. But I just, ugh, I didn't like them. It's like those Pat McGrath glitter bukkake things. Oh my God, just glitter diarrhea all over my face. All right, but that is the pink lip. I hope you like that, Mom. You'll have to tell me what your favorite lip color is and I'll do that for you, but... Yeah, I like that. 
very pretty and it all goes with the eye i feel like everything like the red went with the eye the nude went with the eye ugh, the nude goes with everything girl but yeah this is very pretty i like it all right i will be back with clean lips so we can do one more okay so for this last one i kind of just want to experiment with something uh, I'm going to go in with my Juvia's Place lipstick in the shade Sheba, which is going to be that super dark neutral brown. And I'm going to use this as a lip liner, okay? I'm just going to line my lips with this. love this shade so much and then I'm gonna take my elf uh, core lip shine in ecstatic which is that bergen or that berry shade and I'm just gonna fill this in and honestly you can't even really see the burgundy it's just kind of yeah, it just kind of blended into the lipstick. So, never mind. I thought that was going to do something. It did not do it. So, we're just going to take that off, girl. Because that's not what I wanted. <laughs> He's been really quiet. That's for his little peep. He squeaked. Little squawker. All right, lips is getting sferliated, okay? Sferliated. All right. So let's see. We did a red, we did a nude, we did pink. You know what? Let's just call that a day <laughs> with that. Just a few. I just wanted to do a few different lip looks for my mom. I'm going to go ahead and pop on Nubian Nude. This is the gloss from the Nubian Earth collection from Juvia's Place. This is beautiful this is a beautiful gloss look at this i should try this with shiba or the nima tang oh my god yes that's beautiful all right well i hope you guys enjoyed this video i did i always love doing lip lip anything honestly um like i said though i think i said this in my last like haul or um collection video although i love lip products and lip stick and lip just lip things in general it is quite tricky for me because like getting the liner lipstick gloss combination sometimes can be kind of tricky and just like making sure that I'm working with the right tones and whatnot can be tricky, but it is very fun. And I do love um, any type of concoction and I do love getting different looks out of things. And some of them are kind of quirky and weird and I just, I love all of it. So um, we're gonna end this video right here, but I will see you again in another video with this very same makeup. Cause there's one more video I wanna film and then I'm gonna call it a day for today. But it's been me, Jasmine the Buffet Witch, but you already knew that because you be knowing things. And I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye.